today we're making high-end Dollar Tree ornaments. Keep watching. We're going to start off with this pack that you see me recently haul. This is a two-pack of ornaments that are coated and caked with glitter and some type of adhesive. They look like they've been dipped, battered, and fried. So we're going to just go ahead and remove the tags. I've not seen this done before, so as far as I know, this is new to me. Hopefully it will be helpful to you. I'm going to take some very warm water and a little bit of dish soap. Take some sudsy water and then start soaking these. I soaked them for about mm, an hour probably, and I'm just using a little wooden dowel to kind of agitate the water just a little bit from time to time. Just in case the movement might, you know, make some of that stuff fall off. But you can see here that you can scrape off that caked on mess. It's pretty thick. I don't know how many coats they put on there or what type of adhesive they use, but man, that stuff is thick. So I'm just taking one of these little scouring pads that I got at Dollar Tree just to see if it would help remove it, and that was a fail. Yeah, that's not going to work, so we're going to trash that. Give it a little more soak time. Okay, so now I'm just going to use my fingernail and start scraping this stuff away. You can see it comes off in chunks down there where the red areas are. This was quite satisfying. Really it was, cleaning this stuff up. I've, I always like to see something change. You know, see a transformation from something that's maybe not so wonderful to something that's really great. And I felt like there was a lot of potential in these ornaments. And I'm glad that I did. Now, this does take time. I mean, they're about 50 cents a piece since we paid a dollar for the set. You might not want to go through all of this trouble for, you know, an ornament that you could probably buy one that's white or clear or whatever. But I wanted to try it just to see if it could be done, to see if it would work. And after I have picked and picked and picked, um, and I did that with my fingers, and I uh, used a little bit of um, a little stick to kind of get in the cracks around the letters, then you come up with this clear plastic. And you can see right away, this is really, they're really nice. I like the font. And then there I have my tweezers getting out what remains. I like the font on these. And um, I guess that's filigree or the, the little swirly dids all around it. The frame I think is nice. I'm going to use black spray, spray paint on one of these. In a minute I'll show you the other paint for the other one. I'm just using my foam sanding block. There's some little nubs on here that you can't see when it's covered in glitter and paint. They're just little plastic, little parts that kind of stick up a little bit. So I'm just trying to file those down so they're not so noticeable. And that's what you see me doing there, filling it with my finger to see. And then here's the other one. So we're using dark steel on one and black on the other one and I sprayed one good coat and let them dry in the sun and this is how they look. So now I want to adorn them a little bit, embellish them if you will, and I'm just taking some ribbons. Now those particular ribbons came from Dollar Tree. This one also came from Dollar Tree and they're not in the seasonal section. They're just over where you can get the regular ribbon. This one uh, came from Goodwill. This came from Dirt Cheap, but originally I think from the Dollar Spot years ago in Target. This one is thrifted. So what you want to do is just pick 
You're going to work with one ornament at a time and see what colors that you like that coordinates for you. This is Dollar General ribbon. It's wired. And then you're going to start piling your pieces together. This is a very easy bow to make. Now, on this one, I'm going to just kind of use a pattern here of X's with the same color ribbons, one on top of the other. You don't have to do it this way. Uh, I just usually do it this way, but in a minute you'll see me do it a little bit differently. So there's your stack, and I'm just going to show you how you can use a twist tie that came from something else, and this is a plastic twist tie that I just had in my hand, and it came from probably something from Dollar Tree, holding an ornament or something to a package. But it's wired, so you could use that if you don't have floor wire or any Chanel stems or you run out or you just don't want to leave the house right now, you can just use that. Now I'm going to dovetail the ends of the bigger ribbons. If at first you don't succeed, try try again. You want those to be crispy ends, you don't want little bumps and square looking whatever because you want this to look high end, right? So this is what we're going to do to give it that look. dovetailing as we go and pulling those apart and fluffing them up. If you get that wire tied it up in the middle, then you have, you know, you'll be able to, your bow can withstand the tugging if you are trying to get those ribbons, you know, placed and spread out there. But if you don't get it tight enough, you pull them right out. So just be sure you do that. There's already a hole on the top where the original hanger was and I am just going to feed one end of that wire through there. And then twist the other one around it to secure it. And then I'm going to make a little hanger on the top from that wire. This, even with the bulk of this bow, barely weighs anything. So I think it will hang from the tree just fine. If not, go ahead and add a little hook to hang it from your tree. This would be really pretty on a package too if you wanted to use it as a package topper or a tag, something like that for Christmas. See what an easy and cute little bow that is? Really cute. And to keep it from flipping around, you know, that's why we put the hot glue on there. I want to embellish it a little further and I thought these little white pom-poms would be great because they look like snowballs and we have frosty. We have frosty on there, plus we have that black and white polka dot ribbon. I think it coordinates nicely. What do you think? So that's the first one. So you can still see a little bit of those little bumps where they were, but they're flat now, but you can still see them a little. I'm not bothered by that though. If you are, this might not be the ornament for you. All right, so we're gonna give this one a more silvery or frosty theme. Not Frosty the Snowman, just frosty cold outside. And I'm gonna dovetail the ends. And then on this one, I'm just gonna start cutting ribbon that I think would coordinate nicely. And then we're just gonna throw those down there randomly, not in a particular pattern. This is a Christmas Dollar Tree ribbon. And surprisingly, it's sheer and iridescent. It's really pretty. And I haven't used it yet in my projects because I thought it was uh, opaque, but it's sheer and it's it's really pretty. This trim also came from the Dollar Tree in the Christmas section. And so this is me trying not to make a pattern. Yeah. See, my brain does not work like that. <laughs> But I thought I'd show it to you because it really doesn't matter and the end results are still going to be pretty. So on this one, I'm going to use a piece of thin ribbon to show you that you can use that. So there's another option to hold your things together. You don't have to feel like you need to rush out and you can't finish a project because you run out of wire or something like that. You can always, you can always find something that'll work. With crafting, that's the way it goes anyway, right? We just use bits and pieces of all kinds of stuff. So if you have bits and pieces of ribbon, then 
Here you go. So there you go. One knot in the middle, and then we're going to double knot it to keep it secure. And then pull your bow to the sides and out so you can get it nice and fluffed. And look at that, isn't that pretty? It's slightly sparkly and it looks wintry and snowy, I think. This is a real simple tie for your ornament. It's just a simple, simple little tie, simple knot there, one knot, and then loop it back around so that the smooth ends on top. And it looks very finished once you've hot glued your ornament down. You could also feed those pieces of that thread or that thin ribbon through that hole if you want to, but I ain't got time for that. That's a lot of work with a little bitty, a little um, spot to have to stick it through. So it's easier just to hot glue that one. So that's an option for you also. Like I said before, they don't weigh a lot and it makes it easier to have, you know, more options. It's not going to pull down or pull away from you. I hope that made sense. Okay, so there you go. And that's also the time to go ahead and trim down any ribbons that maybe slipped around while you were tying the knot and they weren't in the right place. I thought these snowy pine cones, which I got in a little bag at Dollar Tree, would be perfect to go on this one. And I think I was right. What do you think? Looks good. So you saw the before and here is your after. Two different options. What do you think? I think these turned out beautiful. Definitely by far a better look now. It's more high end and you have two different options. You can use them wherever you like or give them as a gift. Thank you so much for stopping by and crafting with me. I appreciate that you spend your time when you could be doing other things right here on my channel supporting me. Subscribe if you like budget-friendly decor and decorating ideas. See you soon. Bye.